Today in the Pedal Vault, the Messe Boogie 5 Band Graphic EQ. So this is the Messe Boogie 5 band graphical EQ and actually I hope that it's basically a Mark IV EQ in a pedal size but I fear it isn't. Anyways let's have a closer look. We have two control knobs and this 5 band EQ. We have an input level so that you can adjust different guitars or the FX send on your amp and the output level that lets you set the overall output of the pedal. We then have the five EQ bands that are centered around 80 Hz, 240, 750, 2.2K and 6.6K. And we have this nice handlebar that's so convenient you can just grab it and take it to grocery shopping or whatever you want to like. So I have set the input level so that it matches my output from my reamping box, so it basically at unity gain, and let's have a closer look at the EQ curve. It smoothens the highs just slightly. Now the output. Gives you some added range. And the 80 hertz. rather subtle shelf boost and cut very broad Q okay 2.40 seems to be here it's 2.50 2.40 okay And with this cut, okay, seven uh, 750. Yeah. So the frequencies seem to be spot on. Two point two K. Okay, and 6.6. .6. Yeah.
For the live review part, I wanted to try out if the Mesa Boogie 5-band graphic EQ can hold up to the actual Mark IV EQ. And since I don't own a Mark IV, I chose the very best next thing, which is my XFX 3's Mark IV emulation. My signal chain is my Black Hat Custom and this goes directly into the XFX 3. I chose the USA Lead Mid Gain Amp and then I activated an FX loop where I put in the Mesa Boogie 5-band EQ and then it goes into the cap which should be a Bogren IR. Yes it is. It's a Jens Bogren Strange Attraction IR. And I've set up the Mark IV amp just like Leon Todd does. By the way, check out his YouTube channel. He does some awesome tweaking options for the XFX and the FM3. So now I'll show you around how I set up the Mark IV 
and then I give you a brief example of the sound and then I'll try to emulate the 5 band EQ with the Mesa Boogie EQ pedal. So I've set overdrive to 10, bass to nearly 0, 1.4, mid to 1.8, treble to 8, presence is dialed back and on the ideal setting I have activated the fat switch because I like it and I've activated an input boost and as an input boost I chose the grinder with a total of around 17 to 18 dB. Now the output EQ, it's the 5 band mark EQ, here you can see the settings, uh, press pause if you want to share them or copy them and this is basically the sound that I got. <laughs> So I think it's a really cool distorted sound, however you have to remind yourself it doesn't work well with an Action 2 pedal if you're into this kind of sound, it's just a standalone type of thing. Anyways, let's deactivate the 5 band EQ on the Mark IV and activate the graphic EQ pedal. And I have set the output volume so that there is no volume loss when I activate it. And therefore I've copied the scene and simply deactivated the EQ. There are differences, however they are quite small, I think the graphic EQ sounds more open and the XFX EQ sounds more compressed. I honestly don't know which sound I like better, both have their pros and cons I think. So let me know down in the comments what do you think, what do you prefer, do you prefer the XFX EQ or do you prefer this? Pedals EQ. You know, when I initially found out to add a graphic EQ after your preamp to shape the tone even more, I was really curious how this would sound. And I've actually tried the Fryet Pitbull, which had a six band EQ or so, I'm not sure yet. Um, but the Mesa Boogie Mark IV model, especially the one on the Fractal Audio XFX3, 
totally did it for me. I really like the possibility to shape the tone with the three band EQ pre-gain and then post-gain you get a totally different level with the graphic EQ. So I thought, well, why not buy this pedal to add this flexibility to all my other amps. And I have to say, it kind of delivers. I So first things first, I don't really like it in front of an amp, regardless if it's clean or dirty. Just doesn't work for me. On the FX loop, on the clean amp, does some wonderful jobs. You can get really shiny sounds, bright, but also some darker tones, some warmer tones, however you want it. After the distorted amp, it adds a whole new flexibility, although I think you have to combine this pedal with your actually 3-band EQ or 4-band EQ if you have an amp with 4-band EQ, um, because it needs some tweaking here and there. Therefore, in the uh, audio playthrough, I didn't really focus on shaping the sound because I have my pre dial tone and I just go from there. Um, so in the live review part, I tried to mimic the 5-band EQ sound of the original Mark IV emulation. It kind of went well. I got a similar sound. It's not the exact same sound. It would have been the icing on the cake if this pedal actually sounded close or identical to my emulation. But it didn't and I don't care. I can still tweak it to my liking. But I highly recommend this pedal or, well, any other pedal with a graphic EQ to try into your FX loop. I did a review for the Boss graphic EQ, the GE7, and um, I think this one is better, but it comes with a hefty, hefty price tag, so I would, use, uh, so I would search on the used market or buy uh, another pedal that has an EQ, and maybe those EQ bands work for you, they work for me, maybe they don't work for you, then you of course should search further. For example, the MXR has a 10 band EQ, which is two times more, so it's two times better, isn't it? Anyways, let me know down in the comments what do you think about the Messe Boogie 5 band EQ or what do you think about EQ pedals in FX loops in general. Just write a comment down in the comment section. And as always, Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, may the force be with you and have a nice day.